Okay, so I'm gonna play around with this piece of content, some of the maybe that could be episodic. Stay in the know, two, three, four minute recap, social media trend updates with different platforms. So today, a couple updates on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know, some things with TikTok, a lot of trends for 2022. So let's just jump into it. First that I wanna just kind of dive into is something with Twitter, I mean, excuse me, YouTube. It was really, really cool. So if you don't really know, there's something called chapters. Chapters are like right here. Maybe you've seen them on a, a YouTube video that you've seen. You know, these are just really good for you know audience to like consumer videos. They just have like more control over the video. They might want to jump back, but then also from like an algorithmic standpoint on YouTube, it you know boosts your video's performance. And so like I actually have a tool called Video Buddy, or Tube Buddy, and it's actually a really great Chrome extension, a really great tool that I would recommend. It shows you different analytics for YouTube videos and you know SEO tips and all that kind of stuff. But it'll literally tell you best practices for videos. And actually, I can make a whole video diving into all this kind of stuff, but you can see chapters added. You know, this is one something that literally YouTube and all these SEO tools are recommending to do. Um, and so now essentially what you know YouTube is doing is just like smart TVs and different other just type of devices where people might be consuming YouTube content. Now this like pretty nice feature for YouTube channels is available. So pretty cool. Um, okay, so just high, kind of high level, a couple new things, a uh, new Twitter CEO. So Jack Dorsey, he stepped down I've actually liked Dorsey for many, many years. Like I've met him before and, you know, I think he's like a super, super down to earth guy and I think what he's doing with Square is pretty amazing. But I think what this move is, I think it's going to be good for him and then good for Square. But for Twitter, I, I, I don't know what that's going to mean. I mean, within like two or three days of Jack stepping down, a new kind of big update came to Twitter where, you know, you can't, and I, like I might not have the exact messaging right, but essentially you can't post pictures or images of other people without their permission. And, you know, it'll be taken down from the platform. You might even get your account, you know, in trouble, different kinds of like that. And there's two folds of looking at it. One, there's a fold of like abuse and harassment towards people. And like that makes total sense. But the other, the other way I might look at it is, you know, that like for social media, it's, it's type of, it's, it's quite the free platform for like memes or if I'm, you know, watching, if I'm a spectator or something crazy happening out in the world, if, if there's a protest, and like if I film it or if I'm doing a live video, you know, if someone else's face just happens to get into it, you know, like how liable am I, you know, it's so like, don't really know, you know, too much there. Don't, don't want to go into that or that dive in that too much, but just very interesting. Um, so for Facebook, the head of messenger is leaving, which is just like, continuation of like the exodus of Facebook executives, which that can either be cleaning house for better things, or that could be, you know, bad news. I don't really know. Um, but I, I do think there are some good things with Facebook. Like they're really trying to focus on um, the creator economy, enabling creators. And, you know, whether you're, you're a young person trying to be a creator or, um, you know, you're a professional business professional, you want to sell products or whatever, you know, build audiences, you want to build, um, you know, list of you know, different customers that interact with them in different ways, you know, maybe ways you haven't in the past. Well, Facebook is offering a lot of new features and tools. One thing that they're offering is called stars. And it's essentially almost like if you've ever used Twitch, which Twitch is a live streaming platform. That's like very, um, very much of a competitor to YouTube. The Twitch is purely for live streaming, very big for like gaming and different kind of neat niches like that. But there's tips you can, um, you know, you can donate to your favorite streamer, you can subscribe to them. And when you subscribe to them, unlike YouTube, you actually are paying money. So you're like supporting them financially, economically. There's something called Cheers, where, you know, you can just, just another way to like financially support your you know, favorite Twitch streamer. Um, so that's essentially what, like that's Facebook's version. It's called Stars. And it's just a way to like, you know, you can buy these stars. It's, so it's going to be like a little bit of a token. Um, almost like like a virtual currency in some ways, but just in like Facebook's like metaverse, if you will. So very, very interesting stuff. You know, at the end of the day, you know, creators um, who notoriously for you know decades, it was hard for them to really make money off of their art or their creation or, you know, whatever they want to create. You know, there's just a lot of options out there, which can be really cool. Just kind of following the continued trend of you know, social media apps copying TikTok because it's just like so massively dominant right now. Um, and so many creators are flocking to it and they're having so much just success, you know, with the discoverability features and how quickly you can blow up. And so two things that are interesting. Twitter is testing an explore tab with TikTok style vertical scrolling. So, you know, on TikTok you're scrolling um, and there's like a for you page, but there's also like what, what, what's the for you page is essentially content that you might not already be following but TikTok has looked at what you've consumed already and says, hey, this content is similar to what you've already liked. We're giving it for you. We're, we're going to see if you really like it. And if you like it, we're going to keep sending it to you and we're going to keep you on our platform for as long as we possibly can. Um, so like just 
for whatever reason, just users and maybe because of Snapchat and Instagram and you know everything was like swipe horizontal. TikTok came out with this, you know, more vertically aspect of it, and it's just you know crushing. People are loving it. People like swiping. They're spending a lot of time on it. So not only is Twitter copying that kind of aspect of it, but of course Facebook and Instagram are, you know, not the first to copy something. Instagram is testing Danceify options. So like TikTok has this auto sync feature where it kind of syncs music and then just like your audio or different kind of aspects like that, whatever the audio might be. And so Instagram is offering that for their Instagram reels, which is funny. So yeah, so a couple of YouTube updates, a couple of Twitter updates, small Facebook updates. Last, you know, lastly for, for like updates for social media, Instagram is releasing a lot of safety features for you know, young kids. So there's going to be parental controls. They're going to like stop nudging kids as, as often. So like, for example, the way that Facebook originally grew was they had this growth hack where you would get an email when one of your friends tagged you in a picture. And so like the, this, you know, Facebook 12, 15 years ago when they started, whatever. Um, so when you saw that, you're like, oh my gosh, when my tagged and I'm going to, I have to go jump on Facebook because now, the, you know what I'm saying? So the whole nudging aspect and nudging user behavior and nudging them back to their platform and nudging them to different places on your application is like very, very prevalent on social media applications. And they're just coming out claiming that they're going to try to not nudge you know, users as much and not nudge them to areas that might not really fit what they're looking for. I haven't really looked too into it, but they're just going to be exploring, you know, doing the opposite of really what they've always been doing, which is like the nudging and constantly trying to get, you know, almost entrap you in their, their uh, social media application and activity monitoring. That's the other thing too. There's been providing a lot more metrics on, you know, how much time are you spending? You know, how much time are you spending during these certain periods of the day? You know, the, the iPhone already gives like a, some decent analytics like that, but um, this is going to be just for Instagram and it'll allow Android users if they don't have some type of settings where they can say, I'm spending this amount of time on this app during this time of day. Now they can't, which is pretty cool. So yeah, just, you know, those are mostly um, social media updates that I have, but to just kind of end off, I want to and I'll, you know, if, if I send this video in an email, I'll provide these links. If you find this video on YouTube, it'll be in the description. If you're in the private Facebook group for realtors, you know, I'll, I'll make sure I put this link in the post. But these are just some interesting, you know, links that I think are worthy looking at. You know, if you're ever curious about Pinterest or like what kind of visual trends and different predictions might be, you know, interesting to your business or the content that you might be creating or you're just curious in general, this can be, you know, definitely some good research. You know, Google, you know, they just released their, you know, top 21 tr uh, search trends for 2021 can definitely be very interesting. Additionally, uh, you know, I, I believe, yeah, yeah, this is Google as well, um, but it's from Sky News. Google also released the most searched memes of 2021. And, you know, meme marketing is a legitimate thing, you know, right? And, you know, I, I'm actually going to be writing a blog about how to create memes for your business and all the different aspects of it. But like, one of the first things is just like research, like what are... A tr like what's a trending meme right now? How can you research the template for that trending meme, et cetera, et cetera. So research for memes is like definitely a big key aspect of it. So this might be an interesting article. And then lastly, oh, this is just more stuff. I was looking up like what the Stars Fest is, but um, yeah, very interesting stuff. I'll link, you know, I'll provide all, actually all these links that, that I'm talking about with the updates and different kinds of stuff like that. I'll, I'll provide all these links um, wherever, you know, you're being this video. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing these. I'm gonna try to keep them shorter and simpler than this video, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching.